Hello everybody and welcome to another horrible experience. Today we join Seth Rift as he investigates the parasite infestation of his world. I wasn't sure what that noise was. It scared me though. I was hoping it was the tree. But it was very likely to be an infection. I heard it breathe. There was indeed an infection. I wasn't sure where. But I wanted to break this tree. I didn't know when it would come for me. Or how it would go for me. But I knew it would be trouble. I didn't know where it was. But I knew it wanted my blood. Then I found it. There was a small pig's creature. And right as I saw the pig creature I had realized. This, I am hot. I am so hot. So I tried not to sprint. And here I was. Pretty freaking safe. I just wanted to cool off for a little bit. I knew I wasn't in the perfect standings with these fellas. I wasn't in bad standings by any means, but it, it wasn't perfect. But I knew that they were more equipped than I was by a long shot. I hoped that maybe if I found some more of them again and they died, then I would hopefully have something to defend myself. I even found Saxton Hale over here in a weapon shop. So I found Saxton Hale and I, I I needed to join a team. Now there was a red team base not far from my home at all, but I wasn't sure how long it would last. I was sure, however, they would kill me if they found me out. After all this time I had busted into their base. But I had already taken everything I'd won from them. So I chose the color I honestly wanted. I was now a blue team member, and that meant if I got near red team, they would be pissed, because I do remember there being a blue engineer in the city, and that's why I wanted to go back. I tried to stay in the shadows a little bit. I even stayed out of the view distance of that sentry by some miracle, and I was on my way. So I kind of just ran away, and I heard the melding and combining of these terrible creatures. I wasn't sure where their totem was, so I just kind of ran. I was hoping for the best, hoping to find my NG friend, hoping he would have survived. And I heard that the dispenser was still running, and he was now my friend. I could even trade with him. I didn't know how to make him come with me, but it seemed I needed something to hire him, Australian. He was a mercenary after all, I noted. I went home, and, uh, well, I just kind of sat there. I tried to formulate a plan on how I was going to murder that scout. So, I built the simplest of things. I built a stone swad. I wasn't really even sure where to find Australian, but I pondered it. It would have been nice if I was able to hire some mercenaries. At the time being, though, I had a chuckle nut standing outside my house, waiting to murder me. But he was an easy kill, surprisingly. He had some bonk atomic punch on him, which would be pretty helpful for me in a desperate situation. I even found my grave. And some of these infected guys and the heavy weapons guy over there, we, well, he was, he was scary, so I, I didn't really want to fight him. I went back inside, and I was sure the earth elemental bits would be annoyed with me. But I also didn't want to waste the opportunity if they had been distracted. And turns out, they were distracted enough. They hurt the crap out of me, and they were clearly angry, but at least I broke their spawner. I wasn't really sure how to get rid of them. I figured maybe my sword would do it, but they were pretty dang angry, and one was going to come through the wall any second and murder me. So I drank my Bach Atomic Punch, and that would give me invulnerability for a few seconds. I didn't really have much on me in terms of food, so I just kind of sat here. I was scared and alone, but at least I could put my things away. I wasn't sure how long they would stick around, but the fact that they weren't going to spawn anymore was... It was nice. It was nice to feel. So I ran through the water, and I, I drank some dirty water. And, uh, I can see the elementals were still swarming around the place a little bit. 
wasn't sure what to do about it. I knew I would die, and then I felt the power of heavy. Heavy weapons guy had, in fact, uh, well, he murderized me from the distance. I was back on the other side of the, uh, I was back on the other side of the road where I knew infection was all over, and so I just kind of ran. I, I knew they would be coming for me, so I just kind of go. They, they were scary. They were coming. I didn't want any part of it. I just wanted to go home. Where I came from, where did you go, where did you come from, Cotton Eye Joe. There was more infection over here, though, so... Yeah, it's a blight. Now, I was left with a difficult question. How many Russian techniques would it require to kill this that heavy? And could I go around and get my stuff so I could at least stab him with a sword? These were important questions. And I really didn't know when he would notice. So I just kind of tried to be cautious about it where I could. I managed to get to my gravestone where I broke it and then I got a sword I decided here we go heavy let's 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 scuttle you're gonna have a lot of health aren't you and he was probably gonna kill me but I got him surprisingly I got him and for all the trouble I got a measly reward of a few bombs I did get some essence though which was pretty cool and a sandwich which is exactly what I needed it filled up my hunger and I was starting to heal. I was healing like mad. I was regenerating even. This is when I realized. Sandwich, moist and delicious. I didn't know what to do with myself, so I just kind of went upstairs. And, well, I, I called it a night. You know, so. I was here. Put my stuff away. Got my iron out. And I wanted to cook it. I needed more iron if I really wanted to survive at least a little bit longer. Against the terrible creatures that I had been facing. Put some coal in that baby and I called it. I even decided to make a uh, axe. I wanted to cut down more trees. I also wanted to elevate the castle that I was currently on. I didn't want it to be touching the ground. If the infection was spreading, then it would get here soon. And that means I need to not be connected to the ground. I wasn't sure how the... I wasn't sure how the infection spreaded, honestly. I knew it spread throughout blocks as well. And I did not want to have to deal with that. That's all I knew. That's all I was prepared to know. I just knew that I, uh, in the case of a storm, I didn't really want to be using anything other than stone, if we're being honest. I decided this spot right here. This seems like a spot. How about we do this? This would be my new way in the house. And of course this meant that I would have to separate the whole bottom half of the house and this and that and whatever, but here we are. It's for the chance at safety. I wasn't sure if there was any real safe way to do this, so I just kind of started. I heard that parasite again. It scared me. But I just kept going. I figured if it was going after me, I could throw this fireball at it, and maybe I wouldn't burn to death in the process. Maybe. At the moment, it wasn't the important thing in life. The important thing in life right now? Making sure this thing off the ground. I didn't want any part of this touching the natural world. I noticed the leaves were moving just a teeny bit. I didn't know if today would be eventful, full of storms or if it would just be fine but that would be a question for future me present me is going to call it a day if you liked this video you can give it a thumbs up subscribe i hope to see you in the next one see ya